Many of you will remember 2011's Dead Island that was developed by Techland and published by Deep Silver. Many may also remember its initial teaser trailer that evoked a lot of response from the gaming community at the time, a response it didn't quite live up to, with the final game being good, but not quite great. Dead Island would go on to receive a sequel called Dead Island Riptide in 2013, which gained a moderate reception, being criticised largely for not improving a lot of the original's failures or adding enough new, fresh content. The core development team at Techland were then just a couple of months after Riptide's release and announced they were working on a brand new series, Dying Light. Dying Light at its core plays very much like Dead Island, only a lot more polished and enjoyable, with an interesting emphasis on parkour, leaving many to forget about the Dead Island IP. That however didn't mean we wouldn't get additional games in the series, as at E3 of 2014, Dead Island 2 was announced, only this time Jaeger Development would be taking over the reins, the team behind the underappreciated Spec Ops The Line. Along with this announcement came an estimated release date of early 2015, which as I'm sure you've guessed, obviously didn't go to plan. So what's happened to Dead Island 2? Is it dead or is it still in development? And if so, who's creating it? I decided to go digging with the hope of shining some light on the matter. Okay, so it's been a couple of days and I've done some research to see what's been going on with the title since 2014. Within the same year of its announcement at Gamescom, we received a gameplay trailer and a fair amount of live gameplay during the event. On the surface at least, it didn't appear to be in poor shape. A lot of time and work had clearly gone into the project. It didn't look like a drastic improvement over the previous entries, but also didn't look awful. And although it was still stated to be in pre-alpha, it was clearly in a reasonably playable state. Anyhow, Gamescom came and went, as did its early 2015 launch window, with publisher Deep Silver being more or less radio silent, which left many to start asking questions. Skip forward a few months to the middle of 2015, and Deep Silver announced that Jaeger Development would no longer be developing the title, citing the reasons were that Jaeger and Deep Silver's respective visions of the project fell out of alignment, which in layman's terms essentially means their expectations weren't being met. They did however announce development had been taken over by another studio, but neglected to say who. It wouldn't be until March of 2016 that they would finally announce that Sumo Digital were the devs that had taken over, the team responsible for games like Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, Little Big Planet 3, and Snake Pass. While Sumo Digital haven't created anything like a Dead Island game before, they are relatively competent developers, so we would have hoped to start seeing more of the game crop up. That sadly didn't happen though. Following on from this we would hear next to nothing, but when fans questioned Deep Silver about the title on social media, they would promptly reply that it was still coming and to await further news. This continued for the following years to come, occasionally ensuring fans they'd know more at some point in the future and to sit tight. So to conclude, is Dead Island 2 dead? Well no, not according to Deep Silver anyway, but that doesn't necessarily mean it will ever see the light of day, and if it does, it's clearly been stuck in development hell, so will anyone want to play it when it does eventually come out? especially with Dying Light 2 on track to release this year and looking to be a great sequel to the first. The question also remains, was development started completely from the beginning after Sumo Digital took over or did they try to salvage what Jaeger development had put together? If it's a former, the end result could be very different to what we saw in 2014. Either way, E3 2018 has come and gone with only the announcement of a mobile title called Dead Island Survivors, a period a lot hoped we get a further update. If there's any consolation, the last word on the game's development was only last month, once again confirming to fans they'd show more when they are ready and that it's not cancelled. So for now, we'll have to take their word for it and hope we get something at E3 of this year, which I think is the likeliest time we'll see it resurface. That's it for today, if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like, subscribe and hit that bell icon to receive notifications when future videos are posted. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.